Karen Burchill here and I'm going to apologize for my voice right now. I have been sick the entire Christmas season. I got sick about the 22nd of December and um, here we are the 31st of December and it's still hanging on. Um, so I'm in my art studio doing something I love. I'm getting it organized. I, I spend half my time, I think, organizing things. And over time, um, as I've developed my own way of doing things and my way of art journaling and doing mixed media, I now have a better sense of how and what materials that I need. So I'm kind of, um, I've grown out of certain things or some things aren't as usable or functional the way that I have them. So all three, I am basically going to replace three organization systems with one box and I'll show you that in a minute. So one of the things that I'm reorganizing is my jelly prints. Initially I had them in this box that I had jelly printed over. This was just a box from Carrot Coffee that I repurposed and I sorted them by color. At the beginning, all I had was a 5x7 jelly plate. I now have an 8x10, so some of my prints plate jelly prints are um, bigger, and I didn't know if I wanted to have them in two places, so um, as part of this upgrade, I've decided to take them out of here. I do have bits and pieces of some odds and ends of my jelly prints things that I just I can't give away throughout so um, they're in there I may sort them and this may be just those little small little scraps also. the other thing that I am going to um, put into the one container is what I had sorted all my paper towels paint cover paper towels and coffee filters all the luscious unused paint that I never wasted that I always just put onto the paper towels and put onto coffee filters um, and I had it sorted in this Pentaflex system which I love primarily because it folds up and it's nice and compact and I could take it with me when I went on a create date with, with my friend Yvonne or when I was traveling. And I still plan on you doing that. I'm just thinking that when I'm in my studio, I have a better way of doing that. So I've taken out all the files that I've had in here and they're all going into the same place where my jelly prints are. The other thing that's going into that system is all the pictures, phrases, and words that I had cut out from magazines. A lot of the collage elements. When I did started out, I did journaling by fives, and so I cut a lot of magazine pictures and different things, and I had them all nicely sorted in this binder. I found I wasn't using it when it was in the binder and it was awkward to get in and out. I don't know, I may go back to this, I'm not getting rid of this, but we'll see where we are. So, I'm going to replace all three of those with this filing box that I purchased at Staples. It's a blue box, has titles, and you can hang your files. You can buy the hanging files with the metal brackets, either for legal files or um, letter files. So I have legal file systems, hangers and stuff. The other reason that I'm doing this is um, Presently, I am a teacher, and I have a lot of these storage items, and I'm trying to repurpose them. Um, so that's what's in here. So you can see I have a very full system in here. So everything's in one box, and a lot of the things that would are the items that are in here are things that I would be using to um, collage. Um, use Mod Podge onto my various art journal pages. So I like it right here. It's this height. I can just go through and find things. So um, I'm going to move the camera back. 
and talk about each of the items in here. So the first, at the beginning part, I have one file that is color coded. I have all my, let's grab all of them, all of my colors, yellow, orange, red, pink, purple, blue, teal, green, brown, and black. And in these files, I have my small jelly prints, my large jelly prints, my paper towels, uh, colored paper towels with unused paint, um, and coffee filters. So any of that materials, and it's sorted by color because I seem to, f that's the way I think. I'm, I'm looking at color. So if I am looking for red or whatever, I can pick the various colors out of here. So I have those right in handy. So each file I went through and I did actually get rid of some. So you have some of the larger, smaller jelly prints in yellow and black. And then I kept this folder in here. I think I might take this out or put my smaller things in here. This folder is what I will take out or put all my some of the yellow things in and put back into this um, Pendaflex folder. So I can just put this back, put the yellow ones in or whatever yellow ones I want when I'm traveling or um, when I'm teaching classes or something like that and I just want it to be mobile. So I can just take the file, it's right there, file it in here and away I go. So that's my plan, so stay tuned. Um, so then you can see all the luscious prints and there's some bigger and smaller ones and I may get rid of some of these smaller ones over time. I don't know. Um, I found when I started doing, um, started uh, using my old folk art patterns to design with and basically doing a lot of collaging with my jelly prints, I needed to have a better way. I needed it to just be more accessible. So here we have all this lusciousness that's just right here and ready to go. So, and I like the idea, I can just pull it out and it's all in one place. Before I was, I, I didn't have a place for my big ones and I was looking for the little ones. So, and we have all sorts of luscious jelly prints. I've got some specific projects in mind for some of this and I was going very specifically um, and finding stuff, but I think this might, might work out. So I have all the colors there. So I'm excited to see how that's going to work. Now the next thing that I have in here is the the materials that I took out of this art journaling pictures and phrases. All the magazines, clippings and stuff. It was good for organizing it. I just found that it didn't work very well when it came to putting things back. So I kept the categories and I'll just go over those with you in here. So I had a whole bunch of things either in these little um, fold out things that I got at the dollar store and have not been able to find ever since. Um, I keep checking every time I find myself in any dollar store. I found something similar right here, but it has this string to close them up. So it's not, and it's bigger and it wouldn't fit into these files. So, but I like that I can close it up. So I'll purpose this for something else. So, but I haven't found those. So if anybody finds these, or they just have a little soft little Velcro thing and they're hole punched um, and stuff. The rest of this I have in my sayings, just so I can see them in um, page protectors. And the static cling actually keeps them quite nice. When it comes, when I take out stuff, I can actually put it back in the folder and it will be where I need it to be. Putting it in the binder, then you put the binder up and everything fell out and I guess I'm not a neat and tidy one. So in here I have quotes and sayings, uh, motivational verbs. I had cut out a lot, a lot, a lot of 
uh, words. So they're just kind of verbs, categories, enjoy, motivate, love, like, inspire, those kind of things. So I, my plan is to use these um, on some ATCs and, and do that. So I have that all in. And this one is just one of these little zippered thing compartments. And I cut off the extra piece because um, it didn't fit in here again from the dollar store. And these are just wor random words that I'm just for cutting for letters and stuff. I may take time and put the letters and sort them if I find I come back to do it using this. So this is all words and quotes and sayings. The next one I just have special quirky pictures that you know art creative sayings. They're all in here together. The words, things with bling, texture, pattern, design. And then sometimes I have some quotes that I've printed off that I haven't used for something else. Live colorfully. Be, be the most brilliant color in the box. So, again, that's all kind of there. Now these categories are what makes sense to me. They may not make sense to you. It may not be something you're interested in. So make your own categories. This one is all about people, people, body parts. Um, some of this I might turn into um, some of the bodies. Might use them as a mask. I've seen people doing that. I've got babies and children. And then I just have a lot of sayings, love and romance. So it's all about people and, and that kind of stuff. I could put this in a separate one, but at this point, I'm not using it enough to do that. So the next one is all about traveling and exploring. So again, I have the pictures and then in the... Page protectors, I've got some of the phrases that they have. Very closely related to that, I have ocean and I also have life change retirement. Um, this could be the year that I retire, so I definitely that's kind of on my mind. And as I've chosen my word for the year, I think I will be coming back to uh, some of the things in this page. The next category, relaxation, party, celebration, comfort, food, kind of that whole downtime kind of thing. Then I have what bugs me, birds and bugs and stuff, butterflies, dragonflies, um, different kind of birds or whatever. I really like, so that's in there. The next category is gardening, flowers, garden fence. It's another passion of mine, gardening, so that's in there. The next category is all the seasons. Winter, Christmas, fall. And I just have it all in one folder. And the last one, it's about time, numbers, money, those kind of things. They seem to show up a lot on... Um, art journaling pages. So the next part that I've added to this box is all about quotes. I think I've shown this to you. I have, I've typed up a lot of my quotes that I've collected on Pinterest. I should have marked the time because I've changed it and I've typed them up and I've numbered them and I printed them off in different fonts and sizes. Now most of these are for ATC sizes or whatever um, or ATCs or index cards, iCats. So I just have my regular um, once. And sometimes if I'm stuck, I might be flipping through this. If I don't have Pinterest or I don't have my computer down with me, I can just go through there and pull them out. So I just had that in the binder. Again, that was on the shelf. I have very few shelves, so I thought that if it's right here, it might be handy. I have printed off. I love to print off some of the pictures and stamps um, onto either tracing paper or on deli paper. 
there's a video that I show how I do that. My latest thing is to take the stamps that I have and stamp them, use a photocopier, blow them up, scan it as a PDF, and then I have it on the computer and I can print out a page of different quotes at different times that are on the deli paper or the tracing paper. And I like putting the quotes on this paper because it's, it becomes very transparent and disappears. And sometimes I like the effect that you can't see the edges of the paper. I don't want it to distract from the background that I've created. I will be making a video about how I do that step by step or there will be a blog article on my blog with either those things. But these are ones that I've printed off and either chose not to do or some that were on the same page. So they're kind of ready to go and I've had these lying around and collecting in piles and piles so I thought okay, I'm going to do that. The next thing here is pretty much the same thing but these are printed out on my um, some are copy paper but most of them are paper it's a little bit thicker than copy paper that I really like using so again I have some of those quotes printed out and either I didn't use them or just haven't gotten to it so I have again some of my stamps printed out stamped out and printed out on there because sometimes with the, especially with mixed media it's not exactly a smooth level surface and stamping doesn't work best so I find I have to stamp on something else. So these are pre-done. So I just kind of want them handy so that I don't forget that I have them and I will use them. Now what I have in here is basically all the quotes that I have in here that have been cut into individualized slips of paper. So sometimes instead of using my inspiration sticks, I may choose to pull out a quote from here. And it's this one is make your own path. So I might decide, okay, I'm gonna that's gonna be my prompt. So instead of relying on others to set a prompt, I have that right here for me if I'm stuck. If I'm having one of those days where I just don't you know, I want to create something, but I just don't know what. And this is always ready. Now I have the number here, so I can go on to my computer file and then find quote 162 and use a font, whatever kind of font I really like that's going to go with the page and the size of whatever I'm creating. If it's an art journal page or a canvas, an ATC or an index card. So I thought I'm going to put that all there. And this is again another another one, another thing that was in a separate box somewhere. So having it all here, I can put the lid on. And I can have all the activity, everything I need, all the collage active things that I need right here. I think I might put a file folder full of my old music paper and a file folder uh, full of um, dictionary pa paper. And then I really have all the uh, things that I use for collage. <laughs> 